Hello and welcome to the first video from Luxury Aquariums. Today we'll be going over a brand new setup. I'd like to discuss with you the objects that I have here in front of you. Um, to start out we have 60 pounds of gravel. We're going to go for more of a natural looking aquarium with live plants and live bears and maybe some angelfish. So that's what these two big bags of gravel are for. Uh, my daughter picked out the orange and green along with these aquarium decorations. I'm going to be having a bubbler in there, or bubble curtain. So right there is a bubble curtain. I have a check valve, an air pump, 10 feet of black tubing. And that top fin box right there is a six pack of filter cartridges for the aquarium. I have a 24 hour outlet timer, power strip, some shims. I have this 55 gallon aquarium stand that I purchased from Walmart. And then down here is the actual aquarium I got from PetSmart. It is a 55 gallon all in one aquarium starter kit. Comes with the filter, a heater, a test tube, um, a thermometer, a net, has the light, and then of course the aquarium itself. So allow you know I go ahead and get started and putting this thing together. I'm gonna to start with the with the stand. I'm gonna put it together um, and it's gonna go into this space right here in my house. Just in my front front living area. Uh, my floor is not exactly level, so that is what you see the shims for. So I'll make sure that it is level before I put the aquarium on and fill it. So let's go ahead and get started. I got the stand put together. As you can see, I already got some shims underneath there and it is fairly level. So going that way. You can see it's pretty much right there in the center. Put it this way, which is the more important part. That's level here. Lines in the center there. So now let's go ahead and unpack the aquarium. Go ahead and take the top off here. So we got two big pieces of cardboard in here with the net attached to them. Got some instruction manuals back here, some papers. And it looks like there's some glue or something on the other side. Nice to get off before we put water in it. And then rip the aquarium net off here. So we got one aquarium net. Decent size. I think the packaging says it's a six inch net. Pretty standard issue. Not bad. That should allow us to get this cardboard out, hopefully. Okay. And attached also is this water test vial. Instructions off with that. Just put that on the table up there. Cardboard aside. Get the other one out of here. On this one, we have our thermometer, top fin thermometer. Thing off. Oh, all right, let's get the filter out of here. This is our top fin PF75 filter, 
40 to 75 gallon aquariums, three stage filtration system, uses the PFL filter cartridges. And then here's our heater. Everything is super glued into this aquarium, so getting it off of where it's affixed to kind of ruins the box and packaging, which is okay. I don't plan on keeping any of these boxes, but a nice 200 watt heater. Sufficient for our 55 gallon aquarium right here. Looks like this is for the lights, I'm guessing, which are in these white boxes up here. Are these instructions for the DC adapter for the lights right in this little white box? And we will take one of the lights out. So it is completely wrapped in plastic. And the lights are already attached. Nice LED lights right there. I'm sure they're nice and bright. Looks like you can pop this out. And even looks like you can even put it back. There's little pins right here for the filter. One for the filter. Let's set that right up here. Get the other one out. And we'll take it out of the box also. Sanitip packing wrapped in plastic. And the light's already attached with this piece missing, so it must be that the filter goes on this side. Okay. All right, the aquarium is on the stand. Went ahead and removed the two pieces that were stuck on the back of the glass already. I'll just gotta get these stickers off. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start, or I'm gonna double check that it's level. So I'll do that right now. Oh, so I think we're level. Try to place the aquarium so it's uh, kind of evenly spaced along the edges. So I can need to come over a little bit more on this side. All right, now I think we need to add some gravel and get some water in here. So before I put the gravel and water and all that into the aquarium, I thought I'd look at uh, these with you real quick. So these are the shims that I use to make the aquarium level. They're in there pretty good, um, but these are obviously sticking out, so I need to figure out how to get rid of them. I'm thinking about using my little tiny circular saw, just having to drop it down just barely enough to cut it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try that, and I'll be back with the result. All right, so the circular saw worked pretty good. I ended up needing to use um, the good old hammer and wonder tool, but as you can see, they're all chopped off there. Um, I'm gonna have to get in there and somehow file them down a little bit more because they're kind of kind of pokey right there, the jagged edges. So I'll figure out how to do that. Um, I went ahead and wiped down the aquarium, and also all this, you know, sawdust that was down here and stuff like that with the just a wet piece of paper towel. All right, I will go ahead and start putting the gravel in it and I'll get back to you. All right, I got the second bag of gravel added. Now, I'm not quite sure if I want to just mix it all up right now or try to have it so that the small gravel is on the top and the bigger rocks, rocks are on the bottom. I mean, I know eventually over time they'll all be mixed up, so I might as well do it now, I'm thinking. So yeah, I'll do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start filling it and I'll get the lights set up and then I will come back and check in to look at the filter. Well, my camera ended up dying before I could finish the video. So that image you see there is um, the night that I put water in it. It's been running for about 15 minutes here. I got the filter going uh, and then I had other things happening. So now uh, it is now eight days later that I'm recording this and I have not since put more fish in it or well put fish in it to begin with and I got some new decorations uh, so I will go ahead and switch to what it looks like right now as I record this. So I got some new decorations on the right there, some uh, move that rock, well I added that rock and also got the decorations on the left. I got four fantailed goldfish, I've got three black mallies, I believe one of them is a balloon mallie. I also have that Pictus cat you see swimming around there. 
Um, so far the tank has been pretty good. The uh, filter is working okay. Uh, you can probably tell that the water is a little bit hazy. Um, I feel like that with other filters this would probably be crystal clear by now, being eight days old, but it's doing a pretty decent job. Uh, so let's take a closer look at the heater. I mean the filter here. So it's working pretty good. The flow is, is nice. Um, no sign of the red dot on this little gauge right here. It's just a filter filter cartridge system. Uh, if this water doesn't clear up soon, I'm thinking about switching out this filter media with some sort of something else. If they have like sheets of carbon and sheets of just foam, it might work better than these. But we'll see. I'll probably be doing the first water change tomorrow or the next day. Um, otherwise, everything's been going pretty good with the aquarium. Uh, I hope you guys like how it turned out. I plan to do another video discussing my saltwater aquarium I have in my basement. And look forward to seeing that soon. Uh, if you want to stick around, I'm going to play some guitar recordings. During the time lapse, you heard our song, that was me, playing the guitar. So I'll just leave this view up of the aquarium. You can just watch it if you want to, or minimize it, whatever, and just listen to the guitar if you want, or find another video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.